Hi, Keshav here. Welcome back. As part of PySpark video series, let's get started with the next video. All right. In this video, let's see the difference between repartition and coalesce. All right. Of course, it's very frequently getting into question to speak about the differences between repartition and coalesce. Of course, these two operations are very expensive operations because when you use either repartition or coalesce, there'll be a lot of shuffling happens across the partitions in your data frame, all right? To move the data across the partitions. Especially if you take repartition, repartition can be used either to reduce the number of partitions on your data frame or to increase the number of partitions on the data frame, all right? So whereas coalesce, always it is used to reduce the number of partitions, but we can't increase the number of partitions through coalesce. All right, but when you compare these two, coalesce is far optimized than repartition because the amount of shuffling happens in coalesce is less compared to repartition that we'll see with example. All right, so let's get started and we'll take some uh, sample data and see how you know um, the shuffling is different for coalesce compared to repartition. All right. So I already connected to my Databricks community edition, imported required methods, and this, you know, DB utils just to remove the paths. All right, I'm just creating one RDD, RDD equals to spark dot spark dot spark context parallelize. Now, I'm gonna just use range function to randomly load the data from one to 20. Let me just say rdd.collect to see if data been loaded and already created. Yeah, it seems there is some spelling mistake. Range, okay, yeah. So there is already created and I could see data also being loaded. All right. So let me check how many partitions are created by default to check that what I'm going to do. I'm going to just print RDD dot get num partitions. So by using get num partitions function, we can get the number of partitions created on RDD. All right. Partitions. Okay, there are eight partitions created by default. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reduce the number of partitions to four by using repartition and coalesce and we'll see the difference, all right? So by default, there are eight partitions created, of course. Okay, let me save all these eight partitions to files and we'll just, you know, compare later. RDD1 equals to, I'm just reducing the number of partitions by using repartition. repartition to four in the same way let me reduce by using coalesce as well i'm just creating two new rdds with one with coalesce one with repartition all right now if i check the number of partitions in both RDD1 and RDD2 should be four. That's what I'm expecting. So I can just quickly check by using this. All right, four. And here as well, four. Let me save these partitions as text files. And we can see the data, how data is being stored across all the partitions. All right. So I'm going to just save default one also, RDD dot, save as text file. I'm going to just save at this path. Anyways, I cleared already. So the path is not existing at present. All right, and let me save even other two as well. RDD one, 
and rdd2 so before doing it let me clear it off again because this is already created when i saved before all right so all these oddities are saved to text files now let me go and check how many files are created so i i would expect the number of files are equivalent to the partitions so what i'm going to do i'm going to use dp tools dot fs dot ls let me list out the files all right here there are eight files because there were eight partitions in rdd1 I, I would expect four and also rdd2 i would expect four why eight partitions here i'm not expecting eight files i'm expecting only four files oh all right while saving i saved same rdd to all those files so that was the reason why i could see eight files across all those three RDTs. so now i just saved again now i could see only four files all right so four files for rdd2 and the same way four for rdd1 and of course now eight for rdd okay so all the RDDs are saved. Let me just display the data, how data is. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just create on df spark.read text. Then let me just give the path. Okay, it's from first RDD. So let me just display How many records in there okay so there are two records in this first partition uh, whereas in rdd2 in the first partition let's see how many records are there in rdd2 first partition has got four values this rdd2 is created by reducing the partitions with coiles now let me check in rdd1 which is created by reducing the partitions with repartition so it has got many values in there all right so just if you compare the data stored post reducing the partitions through repartition and reducing the partitions through coiles there will be difference let's see what difference is there and uh, how the shuffling is less in coiles compared to repartition all right i already took some screenshots just not to waste time so let me just walk you through the screenshots this is the first rdd uh, partition one it has got two values and partition two it has got two values too okay first first partition it has got one to two second partition got three to four and third partition got three values five to seven so likewise it has it, it, it has data stored across multiple partitions so now let me compare the first partition created after coiles and after repartition let me go to repartition first partition so this first partition has got values starting from 5 and ending at 16 so <clears throat> if you look at the first partition it has got 1 and 2 and second partition it has got 3 and 4 but whereas in the first partition of repartition it doesn't have any values those who are in first and second partition it has started from third partition so randomly it has picked the data from uh, the partitions and created its own partitions all right it stored the data in its own partitions look at first partition created after coiles let's see how it happened this is the first partition created after coiles see it has got value starting from one and ending at four if you look at the first rdd it has got two partitions first partition has got one and two second partition three and four now if you look at this coil is right what it has done it took the first partition as is without making any changes and just appended the second partition to the first partition so here the, the amount of data shuffling is very less it did not make any change on the first partition just 
it took the second partition and appended it to the first partition. Whereas in repartition, it has shuffled all the partitions. It shuffled the data across all the partitions uh, and stored the data in its own way. All right. If you look at second partition also, and we can see the difference again. Forget about these two partitions now. Those are created, and let's take third partition from the default RDD and fourth partition. So third partition starting from five, fourth partition starting at eight, ending at nine. So let's go to repartition. Under repartition, second partition, it has got different values. See here, it took values from uh, second partition of our default RDD and rest all from different different partitions. All right. So if you go to Coiles, look at the second partition, how it has loaded the data. If you look at second partition, it took third partition as is from the first RDD and picked fourth partition from the first RDD and appended to third partition and it has created its own partition that is partition 2. So overall if you look at this uh, these screenshots right what these screenshots are telling the amount of data shuffling happens across all the partitions in repartition is more compared to coiles. So in that way definitely we could say that coiles is far better and better optimized compared to repartitioning. All right. These are the main and important differences between repartition and coiles. I hope this video is helpful for you guys. We'll meet again with a different concept. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you.